Nobody can stop the blood, the bloodline. Nobody, well, except for maybe, maybe me. <laughs> you see, because tomorrow's the Royal Rumble. And once all the smoke clears and the dust settles, the only number that's going to mean anything to anybody is the number 15. I'll tell you why. Because after I beat Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble, I am going to be a 15-time world champion. And how you think I'm going to go about accomplishing that? What's that? And I'll tell you how I'm going to do that. I'll tell you how I'm going to become a 15-time world champion by beating Roman Reigns tomorrow at the Royal Rumble. I'm going to do it courtesy of the three most destructive letters in sports entertainment, R-K-O. Another man in the... Fatal four-way tomorrow night. You do realize there's other people in this match with Roman Reigns, don't you, Randy? Or did you just look past AJ Styles? Well, to you, I'd say join the club. You see, I asked Nick Aldis to let me have a match against Solo Sokoa so I could take his head off. And he gave that match to a man who stepped over my body to get everything he's ever wanted in the WWE, L.A. Knight. Did you forget about me, Randy? As long as you've been in this business, as long as you've been in the WWE, you should know better. We have history, Randy. And after you RKO'd me in this ring last week, just know you got a receipt coming. And at the Royal Rumble tomorrow night, I'll be stepping over Randy Orton, Roman Reigns, and L.A. What an ovation for the megastar! Let me talk to you! AJ, go ahead, have a time with it, because you were about to say the name of the next WWE Champion with everybody saying... L.A. Yeah! But my God, AJ, since you've come back, all you've done is whine, cry, and complain. Everybody's jumping over me. Everybody's stepping over me. <laughs> Quit your crying, dummy. You think for a second, with 24 hours before we have our fatal four-way, you think for a second that I want to fight the muscle, the enforcer of the bloodline solo? You'd be smart if you weren't so damn stupid. I tell you like this, 
As far as I can see, isn't it a little bit convenient? Four men in that match tomorrow with a, for the WWE Championship, and only I have a match tonight. Isn't that a chin scratcher? That tells me Paul Heyman lobbied, did everything he could to make sure to soften me up. Why? Because I'm the biggest threat. He saw it at Crown Jewel. He's seen it ever since. So here's the deal. I'm going to walk in tonight. I ain't going to complain about it. I got to fight solo. That's what I'll do. I'll hit him so damn hard, he'll start doing his dad's dance move. And then with that same energy, I'll walk right into Royal Rumble. I will walk over you. I'll walk over you and your little voices. I'll walk over Roman Reigns. And I'll walk over any single sorry soul that gets in my way of being the WWE Champion. And that's not an insult. That is just a fact of life. Yeah. yeah. L.A. Knight fired up tonight. He's stepping over. Damn yeah, right, I'll step over. Oh, I'll step over. AJ with a Pele kick to Orton. And what did he say about a receipt, Corey? AJ warned the Viper. There's a receipt coming your way tonight in the form of a Pele kick.